So when you brought your, I guess, your, I think I was reading your, your um, 25-month international chronic wound project, um, I guess, Bioregen, Biogen Tech. Sorry, I'm, no, I'm not pronouncing that 100% right. Bioregen Tech. Uh, successfully, you successfully beta tested it. So, for, for my audience, what, what, what's involved if you want to bring a, a, a piece of technology or, or, or business like this to, to the world? Is it a very long, drawn out process, or is it just a question of, of applying it? It's a drawn out process. If I had spent time in the United States, it may have taken more than 10 years. And because I took the project internationally, I was able to uh, work with patients uh, directly um, and transfer my own technology in two and a half years. It's a very drawn out process because after you do the transfer, and for example, after now we've saved the limbs, um, to bring this technology to one country or globally is, is really a lot of work because you have to scale it. You have to make sure that you are with the right um, manufacturers that could make enough of this product. Um, and so, you know, it becomes a decision. Do I just spend time in one area and I don't have to help as many people or do I, you know, go, go big? You have to make that decision. And for me, making that decision is difficult because people are losing their limbs. So, Every 22 seconds, someone loses a limb. It's really amazing. Uh, so I decided to go as big as I can in a, a short amount of time as possible, which took me on that journey to go internationally to transfer. Um, so it's, it's, you know, you get that 1% inspiration, but most of it is 99% perspiration. And so just I understand, I, I just kind of, kind of blows my mind what you're doing. You, you, you basically, people would normally have to have their limb amputated, but your uh, product allows people to uh, rejuvenate their limb. Is that basically the gist of it? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we are regrowing bone, uh, cartilage, connective tissue, um, dermis, epidermis, vasculature. So a large... so. Uh, the way to see an open non-healing wound on a diabetic or elderly patient is the before a wound even opens up, the leg, if you were to visualize it with a, a, a device that could let you see everything 3D inside the leg, it would look instead of like ham, I'll use these basic words, instead of looking like ham, the leg starts looking like Swiss cheese. The Swiss cheese holes get bigger and bigger on a diabetic patient uh, or an elderly, elderly individual. And then eventually the hole gets as big uh, to open up the wound. And as you can imagine, a wound will not close when it's surrounded by Swiss cheese tissue. And so what I've developed is a way to first uh, regrow that surrounding tissue so that's healthy and strong. And then from that point, we close the wound by regrow. Excuse me, by growing tissue, um, and we, we are eliminating grafts. How did you discover this? Hard work. Ninety-nine percent perspiration. Uh, when I went internationally to transfer this technology, little did I know that the majority of the problem is circulation in these individuals to this degree. Um, and so over two and a half years, what I had to do is treat the surrounding tissue, the circulation, reestablish the circulation. And after that, then begin closing the wound. So it was a journey in which I developed medical devices and substrates to work together to achieve that goal.